In 2020, Brie ran a one-shot D&D game. I had never played before, so I ended up getting eaten alive by a gelatinous cube only an hour into it, and my character fully died. But I loved every minute of it, all 58 of them. I was the GM for my second ever game. I self-educated at the University of YouTube, and one thing every GM training streamer advised was a plot twist. Now I realize they meant one per campaign, but at the time, I thought they meant one per session. The game was homebrew, and I initially initially set it up on a ship so I could have a small, confined place to start my GM career. The first session, they all thought they were going on a mission to help some elves open a portal into the Feywild. Plot twist. They were actually on a slave ship for delivery to the big bad evil guy, King Darid. They went down below deck to the tavern to hatch a plan, but ended up in a misunderstanding over a dart game. A fellow passenger didn't survive, and they all ended up in the brink. The second session opened with them figuring out a way to escape. Plot twist. Fellow prisoners in his ability spell wore off, and as soon as he was revealed, he jumped out a porthole window, announcing the whole ship was about to blow up. They had seconds to escape, ended up on a piece of the hull, surrounded by giant sharks who would regularly hurl themselves onto the raft and try to eat them. In the third session, they were rescued by the only other two survivors, the ship prison guy and a mysterious stranger who gave them the creeps. They found their way to an island, gentle cottage core dwarven clan. Plot twist, it turns out this is a prison colony, and the dwarves were all awaiting their death sentences, which was to be eaten alive by a dragon. It was the fourth session that they decided to pick a side. They wanted to ally with the gentle cottage core dwarves and tried to talk them into helping destroy the ship prison guy and that mysterious probably a creeper guy. Plot twist, everyone was actually besties and the ship prison guy was there to free his dwarven BFFs before their dragony end. But my players, for some reason, had trust issues with my characters. By the time the fifth session rolled around, they had established a firm hate for everyone, but especially my ship prison guy. What they didn't know was that he was really the leader of the resistance army against the big bad evil King Darid. And I was panicking because I had built my entire campaign around ship prison guy and they were about to murder Hobo the whole lot and just start a new life in whatever city they found next. So they had come into the session with arms drawn. I was still a baby GM. I didn't know what to do other than panic. And my brain was melting down my story in tatters and to prevent them from basically destroying my entire plot, I did the first and only thing that came to mind. I had one of the gentle cottage core dwarves draw a blade and murder the ship prison guy right there in front of them. Ship prison guy immediately turned into a gray, featureless doppelganger. Plot twist. To completely spoil the ending, the campaign ran for 68 sessions in total. The real ship prison guy showed up, mysterious creeper guy ended up getting adopted by the party, and they killed the big bad evil King Darid, freed all the people, and I learned that plot twists give trust issues. It's four years later, a few campaigns later, and all my players know, never trust me.